dirty bear, please leave before you infest my clay p Hey, is that a fly I see? What? Where? Ah, get away, you filthy vermin. No! That pot took me a full day to make. It was true perfection. Now I'm going to have to take another pottery class and make a new one. So, hello comrades and welcome back to Palace of Remus and I spent 10 minutes searching what can I do here because I clear, clearly missed something in the previous video so apparently we needed to put... Oh my god, he is crying. <laughs> okay, let's... I'm never going to make a pot that good again. Oh my... Oh my god, Liam, you bastard, he ruined... Wait a second, can I take it back? No? Wait. What? So, that's it? I appreciate you trying to cheer me up with your worthless knickknacks, but it won't bring back my beautiful pot. Oh my god, so apparently I made him cry and I... Wait, can I actually pick something up here because... Wait, what was the point in destroying the pot? What? His gallery is ruined. Look, dude, I can stand here and, I don't know, uh, cheer you up? I'm naked bear. Wait a second. Wait. Yes, clay. Fa Wait, that's it? Clay? Wait a second. Now what I need is gravel and finally ground... Wait a second. Limes? What? Finally ground limestone. I'm. Do I need to put this? No way. No. Uh -oh. I think I broke it. Oh no! My millstone. If I don't get that fixed immediately, the mill will be covered in cobwebs in no time. Watch my wheat for me, will ya? I gotta get some new parts. W wait a second. Are you trying to? Full of finely ground limestone. No way. Finally ground limestone. Wow. Okay, I think I know what to do. Now we need to grab this one. Comrades, we're doing this. Wheat. And we need to go to the bakery and give him the wheat. And please. Now, if only you could grind that into flour. I could get these pies going. Oh, crap. Wait, I, I need to grind. I cannot do that right here, right? The mill is broken. I think I pushed it too. Wait a second. Let's try it. It could make flour out of wheat, but it's broken. No way. If I drop it in there, I'll lose it. No. Wait a sec. <gasps> this is where this juice is. No, no, don't please. Mm, I've never tried juice and wheat before, but the juice is never backs down from a challenge. No way. No way. Comrades, did we just do it? Look at that. A perfectly ground cup of flour. The juice <laughs> is truly a revolutionary machine. Wow. Flower. All right, folks, I'll be back in 15. I need to give this juicer a thorough cleaning. A thorough cleaning. That's that's it, commoners. We're doing this here. Have some flour. Yes. <laughs> I'm saved. Bless you, kind bear. The kind bear. I'm a blue bear. Thank you very much. Now the... Ah, nothing like the smell of fresh pies. Couldn't have done it without you. Wow. Uh, here, take one. It's on the house. This the least I can do. Mmm, thank you. Oh, wow. Well, that's one way to get gravel. G gravel? What? Oh my god, Comrades. So, look, do you remember how much uh, flour we gave to that, to that dude? And he got like one, two, three, four, like ten pies, more, maybe even more. Okay, he, no more. Concrete. That's it, we have concrete. No, wait, now we need to go to the pub. Yes. Use concrete right here. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Oh, what happened? It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> I wonder where all those bed bugs will go. Not to worry, Liam. They'll find their way back to the swamp. Just as after we get drunk on Celebration Grog, we'll find our way back to our beds. Thank you. That was the Ballad of Remus and the Giant Horsefly. Great Ballad, Remus. It's a shame no one else heard it. What? 
actually oh. the bad bugs decided to stay here instead of making the long trek back to the swamps. Now they've infested every bed in town and no one is getting a wink of sleep. Well, uh, except for me, of course. A rock hard mattress is just what my aching back needed. Thanks again, Remus. Uh. An exterminator's work is never done. <laughs> That was amazing. Please don't tell me that this is the... Yes, it's not the end. Yes, Remus is thinking of well, something. Well, it needs to be said, so I'm just going to say it. This is a great opportunity for us. You see, Liam, when life gives you lemons, you double your rate and squeeze. Actually, Remus, according to Section 8 of the Exterminator's Honesty Act, these bedbugs should have been dealt with at Grappa's. So, technically, we're still on the hook to get rid of them all. What? We can't afford to treat every single house in town for free. We spent the last of our money on bed rope. No, Liam. Desperate times call for rash decisions. We have to subcontract this job. Subcontract? But to who? Uh-oh. So what? Ants? That's your solution? It's the perfect plan. Fire ants love to eat bed bugs. And considering how rarely they get to dine on them, they should jump at the chance for such a buffet of delicacies. But fire ants have the strength of 100 men, matched with the temper of 100 angry women. Yes, but they also have the persistence of 1,000 door-to-door -door salesmen. They're guaranteed to get the job done. I think you could be stirring up a whole lot of trouble. Liam, you worry too much. This plan is brilliant. Liam, you worry too much. Wait a second. How did we get... What? Where am I? Whoa! Okay, comrades... Oh my god, look at this dude, who, what? L look at the span, he, I think he spans back to the mountain, as you can see. Oh my god, this is amazing, but comrades, look. I think we have to end this episode right here, because I believe we finished one part with the bed bugs, and now I believe we're going to start something with those fire ants. Look at that angry dude in the next episode. I promise it will be very, very fast, don't worry, and yeah, come on, I, hope I, I can see a one bug. Thank you very much. So, comrades, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, that is really awesome. And you are always welcome to share it with your friends, of course, if you have any. And as always, I will see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye.